you go in a house of an individual and you come back and for two weeks, three weeks, you have flu, you don't know where you got it from. You left your high energy end zones. Yeah? And you went in places where sometimes it's not about the place. Yeah? But that can an individual takes. No other center as they was That thing, that gen alone, eh? Kamula Moru Nkusuti Nesukuti Navio 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 na as they are coming. When they stand before you, yeah? God, you'll be in a place of protection. Do you understand what I'm saying? They are, <laughs> I don't know how to explain these things. Eh? Because some of you think you're so good eh? <laughs> for people. Eh? You don't know how to operate certain things eh? by the wisdom of the Spirit. Did you know? <laughs> Paul says, by reason of the abundance of revelation, yeah, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan sent to buffet me. Okay? Paul had abundance of revelation yeah. and abundance of revelation triggered what? Triggered, the thorn in the flesh. triggered persecution. That, has, that is actually the thorn in the flesh. Jews, whenever they could talk about persecution, the language, the word they used to use is thorn in the flesh. Okay? That is true with any man that excels anywhere. Okay? Because of the abundance of an anointing to deliver people out of bondages. Yeah? There are certain things eh, that shall attack. There are people who have rectified their marriages. Yeah? And I'm casting out demons and all of that. And we had a very bad quarrel with my wife. But because I'm learned in the spirit, I can understand. And sometimes, of course, as you're calling, one of you is a bit sometimes weakened eh, by this thing. It's like these things are saying, no, if you've rectified this thing here, let us deal with this thing. They are, there is such a thing as counterattacks in the realms of the spirit. So as a man of God, there is a particular wisdom. When I tell you that, no. We finished. I'm not going to talk to you. Get an appointment. There is something I'm doing. Okay? I'm causing you to submit to my angels. So that, because even me, I'm powerless when I also disobey protocol. Okay? There's a friend of mine who could invite me, come here, come here, come there. Just come and we go and do ministry. As a minister, there is a time where I could do that and I don't warranty any what? Any problems. Yeah? Only that this time round, yeah? God, the Bible says to whom much is given, much is. God has given me and added me a set of angels. Now, these angels, they are particular protocols that have to be fulfilled if someone is to invite me. You understand? Eh? Sometimes they will fulfill them without even knowing. Okay? When God really needs me to get into that what? Into that place. Now, me, I wasn't following these protocols and all of that. Yeah? So, I go to a place. Me, I'm thinking, okay, maybe we have gone to a church and all of that. I went to somebody's home. But it is this someone who was telling me that. I'm telling you, I kid you not, I saw two of my angels stay outside and I'm like, what is that? We are not going in there. So I go there. And of course, I only went, I think, with a prophetic angel and all of that. And some other angels, they decided not to show up. Because they are angels that shall show up when I'm in the location. They are angels that I, you know, keep around the home. They are particular angels that are just my friends. Even when I'm praying, we are interacting on a daily. We have, like, that rapport. You understand? Eh? These angels. And man, that thing taught me. I was in there prophesying deep stuff and all that, but I'm saying, oh. and I realized that, okay, as much as I'm prophesying for this individual and I'm doing these things, eh, the only way these things can come to pass is if one day these individuals get a revelation of honoring me beyond their man of God. You understand? Eh? 
if they do that, then they will find favor. So the spirit realm is full of this thing. And angels are very good at that. Angels are very good at dispensing energy, calculating energy, and all of those things. They do that a lot. In fact, that is basically what they do. When, they, when we are saying Holy Spirit most of the time, it's not that the Holy Spirit is just here hovering. No, he's using angels. Yeah? So I'll say Holy Spirit, but what, who has touched you really is, the whole, is, is an angel. You understand what I'm saying? Huh? So it is very, very crucial to understand how these things work. Huh? How to preserve your energy. How not to quench your energy. How not to quench men or other people's energies. You know, Because sometimes some things, they work against you. You understand? Huh? They are people's energies you will fight. And it is fighting. You understand? Eh? That is why the scripture says, if it is possible, yeah, be at peace with all, all men. Are you learning something? Eh? Yeah. So you go beyond, ah, this individual is just good. Um, I can tell you, I'm not that eloquent. Eh? Okay? Or, oh, what is it? Sometimes I'll hit some bogos eh? in my English. I know that. Eh? I'm not uh, your typical who, what? Um, Apostle Grace Lovega. <laughs> that guy is very... Yeah? <laughs> the, his oration and all that. Eh? Mm. When you hear him, you say, wow. Sometimes you will be just slain by the English <laughs> before, before you understand anything. You understand? Eh? I'm not like bashing anything, but I'm just saying he speaks nice English. Eh? Mm. That. But one day, I'm listening to some individual from Nigeria. And he's speaking about things of heaven with very good English, quoting very nice scriptures. Only that he was speaking about a realm I'm well versed with, an area I stay, I hang out, and all that. And I knew that 89% of what he's preaching is wrong, actually. Although it has nice scriptures, and the scriptures are spoken with energy. Mm, mm, boost. You understand? Mm. But I know the frequency of those things, and I know that this is not actually accurate. You get what I'm saying? Eh? Mm. Now, those things, you learn them. There are people in life. Eh? There is a gentleman who came and I'm a guy. Man, the guy had comedy. We could laugh. Eh? But the more you could laugh, I could get a headache. <laughs> the more you could laugh, I could get a headache. I could get a headache from my back. And guess what? everybody that I've ever met in life. Because what happens actually, you start, when you start to pursue life this way, yeah, you start to build a vocabulary around you that God shall use to always warn you. Okay? Everybody that I've ever met in life that has killed many people, I get that headache. <laughs> you get it, huh? This was an, an guy, whatever, we are laughing and all of that. But man, Yes, the comedy is good, it's on point, but his presence is killing me. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Eh? Now, over time, certain things will repeat. Eh? You will notice that when you sensed and you notice that, oh, this guy was a con man, eh? and indeed he turned out to be a con man, eh? when you meet another con man dressed much better than this, the other one, eh? you'll actually sense it and know, ah, uh ah. -uh. Why am I getting the same feeling I got with Ronald? Oh, this guy here <laughs> is up to no good feeling. You understand? Eh? So, as a spiritual individual, you build a vocabulary and you have a wide range of things eh, to help you understand God. Okay? Because some of us, when we are operating, did you know? Because what really happens, you send out signals from your heart. Your heart eh, is a giant like engine eh, that sends out electrical signals. Eh? And you can tell the heart really thinks. The heart really has memory. Yeah? But what happens when you learn these things? A time comes when now your prophetic eyes and your heart come in sync. Okay? That me, there are times I'll prophesy. Yeah? Because I mix a lot of techniques. Eh? When I'm seeing things, visions. Eh? But because I'm so one with this thing. Yeah? There are times I'm not seeing anything, but whatever I'm telling you is accurate. And I know it. I don't know how to explain this. Eh? Okay, let me give you an example. 